So for the parents, it's important to talk to the children. Allow them to express themselves, express their thoughts. Welcome kung ano yung mga sa loobin nila. It may take time to process the, you know, the possibilities that uh, the children may be a part of the community. But always remember that as parents, your children also need your support. Without your support, kami mga part ng mga LGBTQIA plus community, parang malulos din kami throughout our own journey. Okay, hi, my name is Jose Francisco Italia. I'm 44 years old from the College City. For now, I identify myself as a gender fluid. At first, I thought it was uh, gay, but then again, during the 90s, uh, the gender identification is quite limited to like being gay, bisexual. So there's just a, a certain categories during that time. During like uh, two or three years ago, that's when I realized that uh, I may have fit into this particular category. The coming out process happened naturally because yes, the tendencies are there. Uh, the family is quite aware of it. But then again, we have to talk about it at a certain point of my particular life. Uh, so yes, I had come out siguro mga ano na around 19 years old. Well, since the family is quite supportive, I think I'm kind of lucky about that one. The support of the parents is important and acceptance of the parent is important to make us feel that we are a part of the family as well. Of course, uh, your father, it's uh, kind of a different reaction. Of course, my uh, father was uh, a bit traditional, so he has this expectation of what guys uh, should do, what women should do. But then again, over a period of time, he was able to embrace the fact that uh, that was uh, my uh, chosen identity. You know, I just have to prove to him that I was able to uh, stand up on my own and, you know, kind of responsible of uh, things. And you know, my decisions in life, it's something that I took ownership with over five, I'm the youngest, and uh, the gap between me and the young sibling gonna be for Sakin was 10 years. I think that's one of the uh, contributing factors as well. My college life is kind of complicated. First uh, two years ago, I took a uh, BS accountancy in uh, University of St. LaSalle. That's one year and a half. Then I started working the second year. Uh, for Sam, I shifted to mass communication that's still in USLS. Here's a Bacolod. And then after that one, I got uh, hooked with jobs. So I kind of like paused for a while. And then I went back to a uh, regular school after how many years? That was I transfer to the school to Colegio San Agustin Bacolod. Uh, that's where I graduated, the BS Marketing. That was uh, way back in uh, 2001. And then after that one, um, yeah, I took my second degree late 2017. I got myself homeschooled for uh, BA Psychology and I graduated 2019. So I have uh, two degrees uh, on hand. And uh, currently I'm taking my master's degree in psychology at the University of St. Lasalle, Bacolod. For now here in Bacolod, uh, the acceptance level for our community is a very welcoming and very warm na. Um, most probably, there are still a few people who's going through a certain level of, you know, name calling or most probably bullying. But then again, our community is more aware kung ano na yung mga rights natin. So that's why the community members are more empowered as compared before when I was growing in the 80s and the 90s. Yung bullying during elementary years and even in high school, during my high school years. I never thought it was a bullying. Akala ko parang niloloko-loko lang tayo ng mga classmates natin or some other people. But ano naman magagawa natin? We just have to, you know, accept what other people are saying instead of fighting back. The, the feeling of uh, being helpless, parang andun siya kasi dati. 
there were also an experience during the time when I was working since I started working when I was 18. Since I worked in a radio, so it's a it's in the broadcasting field. I have to project that okay, you're you're a man, you're a, you're masculine. Nobody should know that you're you're like this. Over a period of time, these things had already changed. Even with the radios, the DJs had kind of like um, you no. Know, just being themselves. And like kasi ngayon, yung level of awareness and uh, the information dissemination about L, you know, the LGBTQIA plus the community is a very widespread na siya. So people has this understanding and uh, they are more welcoming. Being a part of the community, it exerts too much effort because we have to prove a lot to people na parang these are the things that we can do. These are the, these are achievements. These are our credentials. Parang, Alam mo yung feeling na we are dedicating our time and lives in building that credential to be ex- to be accepted. It is not really fair because hey, pare pareho naman tayo nag-aral, pareho naman tayo nag-exert ng effort. Right now, I'm working online. I'm doing um, coaching, life coaching, relationship coaching, being a part of the LGBTQIA plus community is something that I am thankful and grateful for. Because one way or another, I was able to really explore the different areas of, you know, you know, of being human, uh, regardless of gender or sex or even age. So it allows me to really explore the totality and the behavior of a human being. Ako, single, available. It's my personal choice, actually. Very active naman yung mga dating scenes. But ako kasi, I prefer not to have a jowa, which is from Bacolod. Ayaw pa ng mungin. Uh, for some reason, that's why my ex is uh, from Cebu. And uh, I was able to manage the, that relationship for three years. Kahit pa pa, ano, and we were able to work it out until the uh, pandemic came in. Don't just try to settle on what is available, but try to settle because with uh, someone else or uh, be in a relationship, because it's something that uh, would bring out the best in you. In order for the other people to accept the community, but within the community itself, there's also a level of acceptance. Uh, we have to avoid any form of uh, discrimination and judgment because each of us is, a, you know, are unique individuals. The message that I would try to you know, give to the uh, parents is to re- really listen to their children. Uh, we understand that it takes time for the parents to under to accept and fully grasp the idea of their children, children being a part of uh, the uh, community. But uh, one way or another, we have to understand that uh, your children are still human beings. They have their own f- feelings and emotions. Allow them to grow, allow them to explore who they are and allow them to be the person whom they want to be. It's important because uh, being a successful person, you know, dapat maging connected tayo for who we are from the inside and out. Kasi pag disconnected tayo to what we really feel and we are just trying to fill in the expectations of the other people around us, that is where the disconnect would come in and it blocks our ability to really grow as a person and to really succeed in with our choices in life. One lesson that uh, I would always try to remind the younger LGBTQIA plus community is that um, we should avoid feeling entitled <laughs> because um, Yun talaga. Uh, minsan, we just have to have that open mind. Nawaka na natin pag natin. There are still people na parang would try to adjust to the community. It doesn't mean na parang they are always trying to judge us or trying to discriminate us in a certain level. But then again, sabi ko nga, if we remove that level of entitlement, kasi pare-pareho lang naman tayong human beings, the more we would be able to come do on sa common ground and uh, you know para ma reach din natin yung common goal natin dito sa society natin which is yung level of acceptance and level of support and commit and, and ano rin yung we will be able to live harmoniously with one another yeah.